My dear sisters and brothers of our St. Bernadette Parish community, we're in the octave of Christmas now and our parish church and the parish office is closed temporarily to stop the spread of this deadly virus. In my Christmas message, I shared St. Paul's inspiring words from the 15th chapter of his letter to the Romans. May our Lord of hope fill you with joy and peace in believing so that by the power of the Holy Spirit, you may abound in hope. Hope as a Christian virtue is the longing, the awaiting of the Lord to deliver on his promises, as we know that he did when Jesus entered the world, but as we know that he does and will again. It is also the reward for having had faith and trusted in the Lord. Friends, our faith community lives in hope for the time when we can gather together again, and we trust in the Lord in that. We know, I know already that many of you are missing the ability to come for Mass and prayer, and Father Raymond and I are missing you being here with us too. Offering the Lord's sacrifice is not the same without you, his people. You are with us in mind and heart. Please know that we are only a phone call or an email away from you. Friends, as we celebrate Mass each day, we're bringing each of you to the altar with us. We continue to offer the, your Mass intentions as requested, but we also want you to join us and, as you are close to our minds and our hearts, and as we offer the Lord's sacrifice, which is why we are uploading and eventually live streaming Mass each and every day on our parish YouTube channel and on our website. Many of you have asked if you can join us here for Mass, and unfortunately we simply can't offer that right now, as hard as it is to say that, because nothing would make us happier than to have you here with us. The issue is that with our parish offices closed, we don't have the staff and means to support this. I'll be speaking with some of our local pastors in the days to come, consulting on how we might open to the capacity of no more than 10 for personal prayer and devotions. And I'll keep you posted on the website with more information on this, as well as sharing with you another one of these messages on January the 7th. In the meantime, please know that Father Raymond and I will be praying for you every day. I'll also be working with our many ministry coordinators and heads of ministry to see that faith formation, faith sharing, and our prayer groups, as much as we possibly can, will be offered to you virtually and online. We'll also continue to work on providing you ways to connect through our parish website. If you wish to continue to give your offering, please drop them in the black mailbox, which is on the door opposite, on the opposite of the doors coming into the parish office. In the days ahead as your relatively new pastor, I'll be reaching out to many of you, as many as I possibly can by phone, to chat with you. If you're going for surgery and would like anointing, or would like a little outreach, a little chat, please email me or call me at the office, as our outreach teams would love to connect with you. After January 1st, we'll offer the Sacrament of Reconciliation again by appointment, so please email Father Raymond or myself, and we'll schedule something with you. In the meantime, friends, please don't be discouraged or saddened or disheartened by what's going on around us. As hard as it is for us not to be together, we are being given this opportunity from the Lord himself to offer up our good and holy desire to be together, to keep one another safe, and to manifest the Christian power that we've been given to make sacrifices and stop the spread of this virus that has been testing us. I ask you to pray each day for those who are suffering in any way, especially those who have suffered with, or are suffering with COVID-19. Please pray for those who've died, whom we remember especially in this Christmas season, in our parish family and among our own family and friends. And let us also say a prayer and offer thanksgiving for our health care workers and those who support them. We have many in our community who are the first responders. Thank you to them and to God for all that they are doing for us. And before I depart, I want to offer to each of you my priestly blessing. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. 
Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Lord, pour forth your grace and heavenly blessing upon these, your people, of our parish family. Give them the strength and the courage that they need in these trying times. May our Immaculate Mother Mary protect each of them with a mantle of her protective love and with the intercession of St. Joseph watching over them. May St. Bernadette intercede for them in their needs. And may the blessing of Almighty God come down and remain upon them always, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We go and continue in peace. <laughs>